Hello and welcome to Studio Experience. This is part two of our product photography session. You can find the link below to our previous video. Let's start by importing our rows in one single file. I like this plus, so let's select the general area with the marquee tool and deselect the part that don't belong to the splash by using the magic wand while pressing the Alt key. If we had a larger backdrop, we will use Select Color, pick the background, fill a bit with the radius and our splash layer will be ready. Since the image is shot at high Fs, we need high contrast, low feather, no smooth. We're gonna fiddle around with the radius and go output to layer mask. Now we're gonna transform the splash on our base layer and adjust the mask by brushing. Afterwards, we're gonna take the handle, create the copy, transform so the pattern matches as much as possible the base layer. Then we're gonna remove the backdrop from the handle layer. To remove the fishing line, select and then use Fill Content Aware. I noticed the curve of the handle to be crooked a bit, so let's correct it with liquify. For our next step, let's move the saucer, remove the backdrop and the tape. By the way, I'm using an XP Paint Deco 1, so it's pretty easy to remove by hand, but you can always use Select Color or Quick Selection instead. there is some tape visible on our saucer. We can either paint it over or clone. Use the method you think fits best for you. Now we have to clean and extend the backdrop. We can do it by several ways, but I'm more comfortable by using Select Color, then selecting the rest with Quick Selection tool. Afterwards, click Select the Mask Duplicate the layer, select the bottom layer and delete the mask. We can now use Gradient to fill the backdrop layer. After that, use Average Blur to remove the pores from the paper and smooth the color. I grouped the image with a rule of thirds in mind. Now let's duplicate some of the droplets to fill the empty space and clean the general image, like removing the fishing line and cleaning the coffee stains from the saucer.
finally, for color grading, I use LUTs due to their non-destructive effect. My favorites are Gorilla Grade LUTs. Simply create a color lookup, then browse the various LUTs that suit your mood. You can stack as many as you want and adjust the intensity individually. For our next image, the procedure is pretty much the same. We could probably open all the images, remove the background and just add the beans as a layer, but I prefer to proceed image by image.
Once I'm finished with the retouch, I can simply take the last from the previous file and apply to the current, so there is continuity in color grade. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned by subscribing and hit the bell to be notified for our next photo shoot. And as always, create your own experience.